Hi, we're Architects. <laughs> and you're watching Pit Cam. The song's called Early Grave. We've been Architects. Thank you so much. More fucking stage times. Let's do this. Hi, my name's Alona with Pitcam, and we're here interviewing architects. Hello. Hello. Would you guys like to introduce yourself and say what you play? Just That's Sam. <laughs> he plays vocals. That's Tom. He plays guitar. Tim came up with that name and he, I don't know, he didn't want a blood and guts name, you know, so just kept that one because kind of, you know what I mean, kind of leaves, we can kind of do anything with that name, we can sound like anything, it doesn't pin us down to being like, oh, you know, like. That was just a word you guys. Like the Black Dahlia murder probably would sound a bit silly if they started crooning and stuff, so it's, yeah, we didn't want a name that pinned us down like that. Not, not that there's anything wrong with Black Dahlia murder, they're a great band. <laughs> Um, so you all played in different bands before you came together. How did you how did you guys meet and form the band? Uh, <laughs> Tom and Dan have always been as far as I'm aware you've always been in the same band. Yep. It's the same band as it is now. Uh, I was in another couple of bands. Uh, was Ali ever? Oh, Ali was, was Ali was in Fractures. Um, I was in a band with Ali. And then it's just been a lot of different lineup changes. You know, I met Tim at a funeral for a friend concert in Brighton, rock gig. And then Ali. you, I met Ali. He came to see us when we were younger. He was fanboy. You know, probably why. No, no nothing actually. Um, and then Sam, don't know where he came from. Something to do with Ali. Yeah, just around. Oh, we met. At we first met at a Nervous Wreck show, the first Nervous Wreck show, and then... Crucial. Crucial, cool. And then, I don't know, I didn't really speak to anyone after that. And then Ali just asked me, Ali, me and Ali worked That's on like the same street, and I'd liked the band for a while, and he came in and asked me if I wanted to try out. That is a, what was the weather on the day that you met? It was... Rainy, actually. Right, that's probably enough detail. <laughs> um, so three other members, I'm not sure which ones it is, play, have like a side project called Punk. Yeah, P-U-N-X. Yeah. How's that doing? How's that, how's that going? Yeah, we've, got one, we've got one song called <laughs> Whoa, I'm on a Train. So you don't have um, any, like you don't want to bring it out yet? We plans for a full length. No, we only, have, we only have one practice and it was about five minutes long. At the end of an architect's practice. I play drums, I'm not very good at drums. Uh, I play bass, but I'm not good at bass. <laughs> Yeah, it's not really going anywhere. Of course, it's good. Right? Yeah. So we kind of, I'm on a train. Kind of sacked that off. Really. I'm on, it's good. Maybe a downloadable single soon on Household Name Records. <laughs> um, you guys have a lot to do with Room of the Horizons. Um, you guys did, or one person did clean vocals, I think. Uh, yeah, that? I sang with yeah. I sang with Ali. <laughs> I did a slap bass solo on the record. No, I, yeah, I sang on their on their record, and we've been friends with them for ages, and we've done tons of Did you guys meet them before, like, the whole fame started, or was it just kind of like you both were on tour, and... Um, we did their first ever UK headline, which wasn't exactly big, I wouldn't have described them as famous at that point. Um, so I guess we've just known them for a while, and whatever, you know, hang out and that, so, yeah. What is 
been the favourite place that you guys have played so far that you'd want to go back to? London, England. Yeah, London, England. <laughs> um, Australia. Yeah. Australia's awesome. Um, Canada's always fun. <coughs> I'd want to go back to Australia. Australia We're yeah. going back to Australia in February. That's going to be fun because Australia is awesome. Um, so I have a question from a fan. Um, what bands influenced you guys to just start playing music? Um, uh, to start playing guitar in the first place. Big on my incubus and 100 reasons. Big on 100 reasons. Uh, Changed a little bit now. Still appreciate both. Yeah. 100 Reasons, feeling for a friend, I guess, back in the day. Blink-182, it was a mixed, uh, mixed bag. The early days, I just wanted to sound like dealing your escape plan, but it wasn't good enough, so I just wrote shit stuff. <laughs> do you guys have any plans for the future on doing something else, or do you plan on like doing this till you're 65? God. God. That would be a miserable existence. I would have shot myself in the head before that. Definitely been dead. Um, either that or the... Uh, the alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> internal bleeding. Um, I'll probably do it for uh, quite a while still. Until there's a fight or a murder in the back. Probably go. I'll probably reckon we'll probably have a few fights before it's over. Do you have any idea what you would do if it would end? Like, what, what would interest you? <laughs> um, we're going to start a studio. Me and Tom. Maybe an office yeah. job. Me and Tom, we've already got a game plan. Ali's going to be a vet. My brother is yep. uh, Danny plays drums. He's quite a lot more intelligent and motivated than I am. So I'll probably just do leech off what he does. Because I think he might be an accountant, maybe I could just, just make turn on his computer in the morning. <laughs> get, get, him a, get him a coffee or something. Yeah. So you guys have three albums, Hollow Crown being the newest one? Yeah. Um, if you guys could pick any song from any album that, you could, that you'd want to play at every show, which, which song would it be and why? Um, Early Grave is yeah. a good one. Yeah. I mean, a lot of the stuff off Ruin's going to be a chore, you know. <laughs> no one needs to go through that. Um, so, yeah, probably Early Grave or Follow the Water, something like that. Borrow Time, it's my favourite. Sail This Ship Alone, oh. or whatever it's called on Ruin. <laughs> Not exactly a classic. <laughs> Okay, so coming to the last question, it's kind of like a random question. Um, if the whole band was stranded on an island and you guys had no food, who would be the first person you'd eat? <laughs> Ali the Donkey Dick Dino. There's absolutely no question about that. Ali, Ali, yeah. Not because he's fat or anything like that, you just, you know the meat would be tasty. <laughs> okay. Um, so thank you for doing the interview with us. Thank the you. last word to the audience goes to you guys. I'll leave this one for you, Sam. No, because we're always <laughs> awful. Uh, but we always have these last word things. See, look, I'm doing it now. No last <laughs> word. Well, what about, you know, stay, stay sick school. or stay heavy? <laughs> stay. <laughs> keep, stay hard. Keep, keep on rocking <laughs> till the break of dawn. <laughs> keep gigging. Keep gigging with mates. Yeah, keep gigging. Unless you're not in a band. Then just keep it 10 then gigs. You can't, then you can't. So. Give it 10 gigs. You lose. <laughs> just joking. You're not losing. Oh, God.